Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> Okie doke. It is morning. I've been awake for three seconds. Let's see how tanky we are with new armor. We need to just go get more hearts. At least the horse stays. That's kind of nice. We do some more talking. So, you're this link that people keep talking about. Sounds like you're pretty tough. I'd like you to teach me about combat when all this is done. Huh? What? Is that really you? Link, you've returned. It's such a relief to see that you're safe. Oh, let me introduce myself. I'm Grounds, head of the Monster Control Group. Why, do, why does everybody know me, but nobody knows me? It's our job to keep the monsters at bay, as best we can throughout Hyrule. But aside from that, we've been assisting in the search of Princess Zelda, whose whereabouts are unknown. I'm glad you've returned safely, but I am gravely concerned about the princess. I'm holding out hope that the monster control crew brings back good news. They're searching the castle for her now. Searching the castle? Pura has given us orders to search thoroughly around Hyrule Castle. That's where we last had contact with Princess Zelda, so it seems the best starting point in the search. Anyway, Pura enlisted our monster control crew to help out, so that's where our efforts are currently focused. Monster control crew? Yes, it's a group of volunteers who've joined together to defend the people from the onslaught of monsters. However, Pura has asked for our aid with a more pressing matter now. She's asked us to help in searching the castle. I was just debating whether or not to add reinforcements. But if you're joining the search, Link, I can keep our forces on standby. If you head to the castle, you will run into Haas and the advance party, who will probably be just as surprised to see you. Screw these guys. Sorry, I'm a bit busy with work right now. Link! Wow, what a relief! I was seriously worried about you. Where have you been, anyway? Uh, sorry for the excitement. I'm just happy you're back. I've been sorting out whether or not I can build a mini-stable in Lookout Landing. Lester has come here to care for the horses, so it'd be he so it help him I out a lot if we had a proper stable. The project would likely take me a while to complete, but once it's done, you'll be able to take full advantage, Link. You already have a stable. You literally just need a roof on it. I can't see a roof anywhere. No roof. This is supposed to be flying machines. Whatever this is. Talk to the Let's 
stables guy. I think you've caused quite a stir since your arrival here. Ah, people do fuss, don't they? If this is your first visit, talk to that soldier in the center of our little fort, or were you hoping to register a horse? Hell yeah. We're still getting things together on that front, so I'm afraid you'll have to hold your horses a while longer. Hey. Register a horse? If you register a wild horse as your own, you can call that horse to you at, at, at a stable, whenever, whenever you please. At bigger, ro at bigger roadside stables, not only can you register horses, but you can also stay the night. We didn't have room to build something that fancy here, but I did want a place I could take care of horses properly. Which is why Carson from Hobson Construction is planning to build us a mini stable. Once it's finished, you'll be able to register, board, and take out horses just like you would at any other stable. Got it. Be sure to bundle up if you're going to Hebra. The cold over there is intense. Now where did my horse go? <laughs> Come on, be nice. So, do we just go up north and, and do the thing? I guess that's what we'll do. Who knows what it'll unlock. It's hard to believe these runes just fell from the sky. I mean, they're from the Age of Legends, and now they're here. It's all so strange, huh? Oh. Yeah, it sure is, but it's also a great opportunity. All of us on the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Oh. Well, Pura is investigating the upheaval. She is certain it'll provide clues about Princess Zelda. But progress isn't great, I've heard. Is the princess all right wherever she is? These ruins right here are exceptional, but really, who cares about that at a time like this? Trudy. Hello. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystal eye, blah, 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 blah. I don't have enough. <laughs> Alright. Let's go north. President Hudson, are you okay? Oh no, what have I done? Alright, I'm sorry President Hudson, I won't let you fall over again. That was unforgivable. It's all your fault startling me like that. Yes, I know it's just a sign, but I have great respect for President Hudson, so I pin the blame on you. Unforgivable. President Hudson? You haven't heard about Mr. Hudson. He's the president of our construction company. He's the one appointed by the princess herself. 
We placed him in charge of putting those material caches everywhere, and now he's shouldering Hyrule's restoration. Of course, he's also the founder of Hudson Construction, and besides all that. Sorry, what's all this? Hey, I'm right in the middle of President Hudson's epic tale of heroism. Well, fine. What was I doing before? I don't want the others getting jealous, so I haven't spread this around. But President Hudson gave me an extra special mission, and that's to put up these signs all over. The place to let everyone know that Hudson construction is a big deal. These aren't your ordinary signs, as you can clearly see. These portray Mr. Hudson himself in detail, noble, glorious detail. It's unforgivable for even one of these to fall over. And so, I pledged to support him. Don't worry, Mr. Hudson, I'm here for you. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. I let him go. What? Are you going to support him? Alright, I'll let go. Whoa! Unforgivable! What? Really? I thought it was so obvious that I was supposed to do this. But it won't let me attach. Oops, the wrong button. And now, come on, dude. Supposed to stick to where I put you. I let him go. What? Are you going to support him? All right, let's, I'll let go. He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I wouldn't have never thought of it. Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Put this right here. Get that fastened and... Perfect. You fucked up my construction, dude. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Twenty rupees? Oh, shit. Also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Veggie rice balls. Thanks. Ah, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. Sleepover ticket. A lodging voucher for a regular stable bed. A reward for collecting pony points. Spend it at a stable to get some rest and recover from the fatigue of travel. 
Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. Oh, in a straight line, you silly horse. A sword here. Traveler's Claymore, a basic two-handed sword once wielded by aspiring adventurers. It's decayed and no longer cuts well, but it can still knock a shield right out of enemies' hands. Zonite powered spear. Sort by type. Sort by power. Hey, horsey, where are you going? Let's go get that waypoint. Now I have to have to fuse something. Fuse attack power. It doesn't say what my that the attack power is kind of so why. Such a tedious system. <laughs> what else do we have? completely changed the the tip of it to that okay <clears throat> so you replaced the, the blade with whatever you had this is supposed to be a two-handed weapon now very strange This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instructions. 
Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Yep. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. They, they don't actually teach you that you have to do certain flips and certain dodges for certain attacks. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield at just the right time. Strike back in the opening you create. talking about oh it, you have to press a okay I missed the controls Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemies in this motion to damage them. Didn't, didn't, didn't know you could do that without the Master Sword. Your mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed with it. Rusty broadsword. I think we're good. Too much crap. But now this, this is just a hilt, so this is probably a decent enough sword. So it's supposed to combine with, with that. Now we have a, a, a horn sword there. With actually really, really strong damage. So if you can actually end up making swords that that don't break in, in, in one encounter and actually look like weapons instead of looking like I don't know what, then maybe that can be okay. We have four? Yes. And who are you? Whoa! Was that opening there before? How could I have missed it? Huh? Um, what is it? We're close to the chasm here, so it's dangerous, you know? For all I know, this shrine could be dangerous too. My point is, lots of things are dangerous ever since the upheaval, so be careful, okay? Chasm? More like chasms, you know, the creepy openings in the ground. Ever since the upheaval, they're all over. In this area, there beneath Hyrule Castle and to the south of Lookout Landing. I heard that members from the research team went rooting around in some and ended up in a bad way. 
It's best to steer clear. I'm glad I'm researching shrines and not the castles. Let's talk about shrines. Huh? You mean like the one right here? When the shrines appeared, it caused such a common commotion that they landed in the newspaper. Mysterious shrines appear all over the world overnight. Again, was smack on the front page, you know. So far, we know they're from the Age of Legends. But did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? And just what are they anyway? Aside from the shrines, we've also got the chasms, of course. To tell you the truth, we don't know squat about all the, uh, of all the things that sprung up due to the upheaval. But the shrines and chasms, they could be dangerous, which would be scary, so we need to investigate them pronto. The people from the search party are putting in long hours at Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. That's a moon. Things floating up there. Keep finding weapons, but I don't. Link? Is that really you? When did you get out from the castle? I'm so ashamed. I've been wa on watch duty here this whole time, and I didn't see you at all. I really got to get serious about my train. Captain Haas doesn't know that you're back, does he, Link? You should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill. Past the lower gates. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. How am I supposed to get past the gates, dude? You guys just kind of walk around it? Kind of gates. Oh, huh, who's there? Hey, this area is off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda and Link. You can't just come wandering in here like that. Link? It's you? I'm sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. Wait, if you're back, then does that mean we don't need the search party anymore? Huh. You should go talk to Captain Haas. He's leading search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. moons rise when its red glow shines upon the land the endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh just as they did in a war long past the world is threatened once again Hello. L Link? No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This by direct order of Captain Haas. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. He should be in the first gatehouse, up at the end of this road. Okay. I had my horse. Ah. We've turned up nothing in here that would help us find the princess, unfortunately. Huh, you're the spitting image of Link. 
I bet if Captain Ha saw you, he'd be so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over there. Traveler's Shield. So many random guards, holy crap. Oh. Did you come up here to help look for Princess Zelda too? Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help anyway. But the captain is way up on the top of the gatehouse there. It doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked, so uh, best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. Soup ladle? Yeah, I don't want that. Soldier's spear. Although now decayed, this lightweight metal spear was made for royal soldiers. Because it's light and easy to use, it enables quicker charged attacks. And same for the soldier's broadsword. Just like I thought. The weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. What about the weapons? Hey, it's a new face. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. They're also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. Torch! This torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished one, until you light it again. Torch could be nice to have, but I don't want to throw anything away. Don't slip. No, 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 no slipping. I finished up the search around here and I'm ready for my next instructions. But Captain Hawes is uh, kind of on edge. I don't want to bother him. Sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Link? Is that you? You're alive! And all in one piece, it looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. No, she's dead. Hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you and you're here to help with the search. I see. Yeah, maybe I don't. I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matter is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. I am relieved to see you come up here and help us out, though. We needed some good news. The sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming. 
our work carries on. But we've been a bit dead in the water. Oh? Captain, it's Princess Zelda! Princess Zelda, she's safe. Huh? Wait, what? Huh? You saw that too, Link. You saw Princess Zelda turning to light and fly off, right? How oh, strange. This this is an emergency situation. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw. But it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. Everyone, let's withdraw. Oh, shit! Don't slip! Now, why would there be anything on the roof? Well, that's a good question. All of this looks very unhealthy. random Area is restricted. Blah 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 blah. blah. And we don't we don't have permission. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me! Princess Zelda flew off, did she? You're a funny one. No matter how funny you think you are, you're not getting through. Raw bird drumstick. This meat is tougher and chewier than a standard steak. Tastes better cooked. Can you open the gate for me? I had no idea that you'd come back, Link. Does that mean we can call the search off? Well, please talk to Captain Hoss. Yeah, I have. What? Princess Zelda! We'll ask the captain for the details. You'd better hurry to see Pura Link. <laughs> On my way. Yeah. 
Hey man, the door isn't even open. <clears throat> oh, you can't ride horses in there. It's awful. We'll just go around then. I'm not leaving without my horsey. No. Come on. Link? Well, did you find anything? What? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle, and then she transformed into light and flew off. I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe you. Hmm. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval, for now at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. That will pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Oh yeah, you've still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? I think I might make some coffee. It's a little worse for wear, but seems to be functioning fine. Map, map, map. Uh -huh. Oh right, I forgot that before we can look at your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from that around Lookout Landing, and for that we need our Skyview Tower. Yasha, what's the status of the Skyview Tower right now? Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Ah. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info... Talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels, you should go to Mubs' shop. I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yes. Alright, Joshua. Let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel yes. point. Joshua, you're in charge of the switch. Okay, Doc. You can count on me. Yeah, I don't, uh, don't think we need anything here. Link, I'm so happy to see you safely returned. Can I fill you in on anything here at Lookout Landing? What's the latest? What is the latest? I don't think there's anything that we need help with currently. I'm sure that's because you're here now, Link. So thank you for checking in with us here at the fort. I know you're busy. I'll be here at my post awaiting Princess Zelda in the meantime. So if you need anything, you know where to find me. Lookout Landing. You return Lookout Landing into the central base for coordinating efforts to find Princess Zelda. Originally, she established this fort to study the gloom that started seeping from Hyrule Castle. Only researchers and members of the Zonai survey team worked here. But once the princess went missing, everyone wanted to help, so they've been coming in ever since. We're like one big growing family. I need equipment. Lookout Landing was built on top of the royal family's emergency shelter. 
We don't have much equipment in there, but we do have essentials like beds and cooking pot and a cooking cooking pot. Feel free to use those. Hello, Robert. If you need armor or cooking ingredients for your travel, you'll find that at Mubs's shop up here. I don't think we need to buy anything more, un unless she is restocked and she has different clothes now. No. I wouldn't mind buying some arrows, though. There's really no reason to not just sell everything. Close to sell. You got a switch? No, I'm emulating it. Morning, Soda. It actually runs really well. Uh, at least if you have a a Ryzen 9 5900X. <laughs> Your hometown. Oh. I come from a small fishing town called Luralin Village. It's way to the south on the southeastern corner of Hyrule. Used to be a peaceful place too. Mm. Then the pirates arrived. It's, emulating is not illegal, dude. It's not against any rules to emulate. As long as you own the game legally. I used to run the village's general store, but when all those pirates arrived, I had to grab all the goods I could carry and run. I uh, I don't know how it's going there now. I hope I can return someday, but for now I'll just keep selling as much stuff as I can. Please let me know if there's anything you'd like. Yes, give me some arrows. I didn't say it's illegal. I didn't say that you said that it was illegal. I'm just saying that it's not illegal. And did nothing wrong. Okay, so... If I put this here, then that goes there. No, no, that's not quite it. Uh -huh. And that should do it. Mm -hmm. Hey Link, you all set? I just wrapped up here myself. The travel point is working fine now. Or it will be once you do your part. Hey. We're ready, Joshua. Pull the switch. Yeah, I know, right? Oh. All of the Skyview Towers have now been activated. Yeah, I knew I had to finish this before going around exploring. Okay, Link, your turn. Go hold the Puripad over that terminal. Yeah, that's Ilona Musk right there. Alright, the Skyview Tower is now active on your map. That means you can now use this travel point to get here at any time instantly. The same is true for every Skyview Tower you add to your Purapad. Impressive, right? Mm -hmm. But Skyview Towers are about more than just traveling quickly. 
Your primary function is to survey the area, or more simply, to make a map. The PuraPad works with the Skyview Tower and scans the topography directly onto the map. Pretty great, hmm? Only thing is, you need a paraglider when you're scanning. It takes a lot of skill and nobody here had what it takes. To be honest, that's why we haven't tested this out yet. We needed you. Which brings us to this. Aeroglider. This item given to you by Pura lets you ride the wind and glide through the sky. Press X in midair to activate it. Right, it's showtime. Let's start with the test scan. Now it's time for our very first test launch. I mean, our first test. Just step over there into the circle and find me afterward, alright? I'll be observing from the research lab. When the test scan is over, we'll be... We'll have a final briefing on the search for Princess Zelda, and I'll also need to update your map with the places where the upheaval has wreaked the most havoc. Best of luck. Use the glider. Surface map updated. <laughs> he didn't even use the glider. Surface map updated, yeah. Sky map updated. Sky map. Okay, so now we're supposed to use the glider so we don't die when we fall down. There, yes, there is a switch in the Switch game. It's a little bit on the nose. So now we no longer need water anywhere. We can just uh, catch ourselves with the glide. What do you think about the art style? <laughs> the art style is nice at first, but it gets old quickly. It's 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 the same issue that uh, every every stylized art style has that issue. Like it can be cool for a while, but it gets old to look at. I don't think it's bad. But it it gets too long too much in the long run. Uh -huh. Welcome back. That was some good gliding up there, Link. I expected nothing less. So how did it go? Did you get a proper map scan? Good. That map is crucial to our search. There are Skyview Towers in every region in the world. You'll want to make a point of visiting them all. Because I keep being told Genshin is a Zelda knockoff? Yeah, that's because they literally copy-pasted Breath of the Wild. They, they just made it have more of an anime art style, that's it. It's not the same art style though. But the game itself is a copy-paste. Right, let's talk about the upheaval. It's affected more than just the castle. Reports of other strange phenomena have been coming in from all over Hyrule. Let's take a look at your map. The first report comes from Hebra to the northwest. Next up is Eldin to the northeast. The Gerudo are reporting trouble in the southwest. And finally, there's Lanar, Lanayru to the east. The strange phenomena are concentrated in these four regions. Yes. I can't say for certain, but 
I've got the nagging suspicion that we might find out more about Princess Zelda by looking into these phenomena. Hey Doc, I don't know if this is helpful, but I heard something weird the other day. It was about someone who might have seen Princess Zelda at Rito Village over in Hebra recently. That is pretty weird, yeah. Generally speaking, I don't put much stock in hearsay, but this does sound like it's worth looking into. Oh, and, but, and before I forget, Link, we've asked the Lucky Clover Gazette to help us in the search of, for Princess Zelda. There's nobody who knows more about the goings-on in Hyrule than them. You can find them near the entrance to Rito Village. If you do go there, you should speak with the editor. I'm sure she could help out in some way, too. I'll be here directing a variety of investigations into the upheaval's many chasms and new ruins. I'll also be looking into the different villages. Someone, somewhere, might know what's happened to the princess. Yeah. I'm counting on you to check out the major phenomena that are troubling regions around Hyrule Link. We'll find the princess Zelda, one way or another. I gotta find goggles. What? Sorry, can't talk now. There's something I gotta discuss with Goggles right away about our research into the castles. Let's talk later. Bird! Birdman! So they finally did it! Oh. Hey, look at this! You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one to ever be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? My name is uh, Zella. Link, you say? Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy. You've got the same name as that famous swordsman. Ha! Huh, good for you. Pretty big name to live up to, though. I'm Penn, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. I'm writing an article about this event, so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I, I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seems seem like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Oh. Our newspaper is based in Hebra to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime. In the newspaper biz. Until then, Bye. so long! Okay. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go make some coffee. Zelda the tutorial? What? <laughs> is that what Breath of the Wild is?
Shit. We go. Eee! You go make hot dogs, I go make coffee. Now we need to find a roadside inn so we can register this bastard. But I want to go over in this direction, first of all. Yeah. Just have to go from shrine to shrine, no matter what. Wow. 
You were the one who ran into that. He started turning. This is a wild horse. I turn this guy into hot dogs. It is not nice. This guy. Dude, your sign looks like shit. <laughs> it's good enough. so oh it's you thanks for your help earlier i'm putting president hudson here too but i can't stand here forever i've got so many more signs to spread around i don't know what to do try letting go what he's standing the horse looks sickly okay How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. All oh, right, let's make him secured while he's still standing. Just put this right here, get that fastened, and... He's retarded. But then that's like the average person in a Zelda game. They're retarded. At least the newer ones. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. Red Ruby? Also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Energizing veggie rice balls. Ah, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something from my premium collection. A special gift from me to you. One puff shroom? A mushroom that spreads a cloud of fine spores when a stimulus is applied. The bitter powder makes them inedible. Ah. Now I can go on to other places and put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. And then, yeah. I would say Nintendo games in general are for children. We got a Goron. Oh, mister, what you doing there? Uh. Hey, hey, guess what? Uh. Eldin up to the northeast has really cooled off. The climate there should be much more doable for a Hylian such as yourself. I know because I'm from Goron City, which is out there. Uh. The economy there has been doing better than ever, doing better lately too, with gems cheaper than ever. It's a great time to visit. Oh, you can talk from the horse as well. You don't have to jump off. Combat training throwing again? Reminds me of Elden Ring. It's an open world game. They're all the same, dude. Aim true and throw the material. Yep, I get it. Uh, 
Let me loot the fire brutes. Well done! Open world are nice. Yeah, open world is nice. It's just that they're all... <laughs> not doing much more than just an open world. I don't know what it said. Oh. We did it. You have proven your mastery. Okay. No night sword, but... It's, it's better than whatever else we have. Don't give me a weapon. Home flower. Okay, I'll take that. Light of Blessing. I forgot to go and uh, get another heart, but whatever. Yeah, you need four blessings, then you get another heart. Right now, I am not heading towards the mountain. I'm heading towards here somewhere. Is that a giant turtle? It's a, it's, a, it's a golem. Battle talus. Okay. Encounter, dude. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Just shoot these guys off? Hello, Grog. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Good question. Ow. Why didn't I damage it? I don't remember. Those are in the first game too, but... Hmm. 
Looks like he goes Super Saiyan when you... Okay. No, don't. Oh, you're supposed to damage that thing up there. That's it. And you probably need bombs or something for that. Well, you can shoot. You can fire bombs with uh, the sword as well, or with the um, the bow as well. So let's do that then. Fire crews work too? Yes, but not very well. Just shooting with the arrow also works. I think you're supposed to maybe be able to do this. Squeaked, dude. Now what did we get from all this? A bunch of amber. What is this? It's a heart? Does that matter? Not sure if you can do anything with that. Doesn't look like it. Unless I can put it on a weapon. <laughs> that we can. It was it's super strong, holy shit. Literally my best weapon now. Hello, what is it? I don't know. We're going moving forward. It's my horse. Horse is gone. Horse is right there. Uh, do, 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 coffee. Yep. It's really hard because the uh, the buttons are flipped on the Xbox controller, so whenever it says A on the screen, I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then I press the wrong button. 
Let's see, we are trying to go... Is it like around here? I think it's here. Controllers are pain. I don't agree. Yeah. It's just a pain when uh, prompts mismatch. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to go to Kakariko. That is. Much prefer playing with a gamepad than mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Which is why I'm looking forward to the Tree of Savior re release so I can play Tree of Savior and play nothing yeah. else. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? a rock. Oh, more rocks. Why, 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 Okay. Stable. Can we can we register this horse here? Hi. You're a night owl, I see. Oh. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Hmm. Seems you're not a member yet. Our stable uses the stable association's membership system, so you'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask for your name? Oh. Link. All right, Mr. Link. There. You're all signed up. Now would you like me to tell you about the stable system? Tell me. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us, then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. There's a limit to how many horses you can board, but you're able to swap them in and out as you please. Once again, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the vis visit the counter inside. Now, how can I help you? Register a horse. Oh. Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. Yes, I want to register a new horse. Oh. Normally, when you register a horse, we charge 20 rupees, but we've got a special promotion going on right now. So you can register your first horse for free. Well then. I'll move on to the registration process. First, please enter a name for your horse. I'm going to go with uh, the name I always go with, which is... Kibbles. <laughs> Are you sure you want to name this horse Kibbles? Yes. Name registered. Do you want to take it with you or board it? Take horse. Oh. That concludes the registration process. Speaking of which, do you know about whistling? If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. Yes. But your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony points work. Pony points? Oh. Pony points is what Kibbs gets every single day when he has a pony avatar. And when he gets enough pony points, he gets turned into a pony. A 
That's right, it's a reward system you can use at, a st at stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. Not only is it your first visit to Wetlands Stable, but you've also registered a horse. So here, you get two pointy points. Using a stable earns points. Collecting points grants rewards. Points needed for the next reward. One. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. Oh. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules and other information. Hmm. Come back again anytime. Oh, and it's this exact same guy again. Yeah. Hey there, are you a fellow traveler? On the journey of life. It's me, Beetle. If you forget, my beetle-shaped pack is right here to remind you. In this topsy-turvy world, there's only one direction to go. Forward. So when I travel, it's forward all the way. I can sell you bugs of the highest quality, and if you need anything else on your life journey, I can sell you that too. Short on rupees? Don't worry, I'll buy anything you don't want weighing you down. And what better way to lighten up than to sell your rocks? Gemstones in particular fetch a high price. Well then, what'll it be? What have you got? I think he's extra, extra expensive. Tireless frog. Enhance swim speed. Thank you. I look forward to your next visit. Oh. Welcome to the stable. Do you want to lodge with us? A regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. A Malanya bed would be 50 rupees. What's a Malanya bed? Oh. If you sleep in a Malanya bed, not only will you wake up more energized. Malanya, the horse god, may also share a mystical message. This makes it a very popular choice among our lodgers. But we don't offer such luxury to just anyone. Only customers with at least seven pony points can use Malanya beds. Now then, once again, a regular bed will cost you 20 rupees. Okay. A regular bed, right? Would you like to use a sleepover ticket? Please note that if you do, you won't get any pony points. No, I'll pay. Then that'll cost you 20 rupees. When would you like to be woken up? Morning. Sleep well. Good morning. Did you sleep well? As thanks for lodging with us, we present you with one point. Sweet. Oh. oh, it looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. If you want to get your reward, step up to the side counter where I keep the ledger. Then call me over. Come back anytime. This book contains useful member information. For those who have registered with the Stable Association. Ah, uh, I don't care. Oh. Ah yes, I'll be right with you. Oh. You'd like to get your pony points reward, right? Oh. Your reward for three points is a towing harness. A durable harness that comes as a set with a horse saddle. Attach a wagon or other objects to the harness for a horse to tow. Oh. A harness is a type of horse gear that you can attach to various things. For instance, a wagon or an item you'd like to tow somewhere. If you save up just two more points, the horse god fabric will be yours. That's a one-of-a-kind item you can bring to the Hateno village dye shop over in Nekluda. We appreciate your patronage. Okay, now we've got a nice saddle here too. An hour horse. All right, let's keep going. Wait, wasn't there a... Yeah, there was a shrine here. I need to reach my friend. Fuck you.
this is like all you do in the entire game. It's just a long, long series of puzzle dungeons. Mm -hmm. Most of them are really, really simple, but some of them are a little bit tricky. So we've got a wagon there. Who doesn't love going around killing things? How can you criticize him for that? So do I need to use one of my own fans, or... Can we find some fans here? Looks like I might need to use my own fan, that's kind of weird. can't use it here. Okay. We have to figure out how to get across here using this. Oh, wait, hold on. These, these are devices as well. Aha! Whoa, shit! Now what? We've got a wheel here. There we've got a thing. We've got a plank there. What's the idea for this? I mean, could it be... Doesn't feel like it would be as simple as just doing something like this.
Yeah, I fucked it up. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Do I even need to do this? Got a point. Oh, shit. Whoops. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but... I'm sure there was a solution that we were supposed to do there. Now here we have a bunch of planks and shit. What am I supposed to do with that? None of this seems like it matters, like... Retarded? It's not going anywhere in this direction, and it's not going anywhere in the other direction. Do you have to add paddles to it or something? That didn't go so well. What's up here? Okay, so that was all we needed to do. We just needed to get it to go over there. <clears throat> That did not feel like we finished it at all like it was supposed to. The 
have some coffee in here to pour. No, not much. The more you spend time adventuring with your steed, the more well-behaved it becomes. Okay. Evil demons squatting in the woods here. Whoa! Where, where did you come from? You can dodge after they finish attacking and it will give you the the stuff this stuff. You can barely fight before you can find before you find an armor, you can barely fight at all. Because everything almost kills you in one hit all the time. And the gameplay fucking sucks. <laughs> the, the combat music in uh, Breath of the Wild was way worse. <laughs> but this is really bad too. Stop burning! Holy shit, stop burning! Oh god, damn it! This old foe's talon. This talon once grew from the elbow of a little foe's. Its aerodynamic shape increases attack power when attached to arrows. Stew it with critters to make elixir. This old foe's horn, a thin, sharp, knife like horn. Attach it to a weapon to increase its attack power. A crooked with blah 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 blah. Now the question is where did I kill the big guy? Moblin Fang. A hard, sharp fang obtained from a moblin. Stew it with a critter, blah 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 blah. Attach it to an arrow. A large, curved horn with two extremely hard tips. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power. Oh, shit. It's really hard to crit them. Leads all bow. So is there any way to destroy these whatsoever without... Okay, Maybe you can smash them. Leads all shield.
Hot-footed frog. A quick frog that can be found hopping around near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw out its speed-boosting effects. Sticky lizard. The suction of its toes allow this lizard to easily cling to walls. It would be an asset for a climber on wet surfaces if it were mixed into an elixir. Topaz. This precious jello ore contains the power of electricity. It's been known to fetch a high price. Brightcap, a mushroom that grows in caves and contains luminescent enzymes. Cook it into a dish to give a glowing effect to anyone who eats it. Weird. Tireless Frog. This rare frog prefers dark and moist places. When cooked with monster parts, the elixir it produces will temporarily increase your maximum stamp. Hello there. Water quality, fair. Moss growth, extensive. Right caps, present. Alright, that's everything all jotted down. Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? Of course. I thought so. My name's Fera. I have a deep love of wells, too. Wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique systems of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Well enthusiasts just get it. The appeal of a good well, that is. My dream is to travel around to every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouring all the ancient texts I could find on the subject, I've learned that there are 58 wells. Sadly, I haven't been able to identify their exact locations. But if you have any interest in wells, then maybe you could help me. Would you tell me any well locations you know? I'll reward you, of course. Hmm, how does 10 rupees per location sound? You've got a deal. Really? That's fantastic. All right, then. Tell me everything. Well, we know of two. two. Thanks. So two of them this time. I'll give you 10 rupees per location. That's 20 rupees total. All yours. Thanks for sharing. I'm excited to go visit all of these wells. Let's see. How many left across Hyrule? Oh, there's still a total of 56 to find. You can find wells all over the place in towns and stables, of course. But even more wells, those used in the distant past, exist within ruins. Just imagine. They were a crucial part of life all that time ago. Isn't that simply fascinating? Oh, I'm going to Lookout Landing next. There's a well there I want to see. So if you learn more well locations, meet me there. See you around. See you there. Where are the wells? need my arrows. Back here. Hope they stay away. Good evening, Mr. Uh, Mr. Customer, sir. Word to the wise, while the sun is down, don't even think about wandering into the forest near here. We've got a monster problem. A scary one moved in and made a forest. I mean, forestress. I mean, fortress. Anyway, it's BAD, bad news. And it brought some other monsters with it. And look! I worked so hard to build a well, and now I can't even use it. I mean, it's not that hard to make a new well, but... What if this monster, monster, monster decides to raid us? I can't sleep, I can barely talk. Eh? What? It's gone? M Mr. Customer, did you chase it off? Oh. Alright dude, see you around. That's amazing! I was wondering why I couldn't see that big nasty monster just now. I can't believe you got rid of it, I was so scared. 
I am a kid, so I don't have any money or anything, but... Mr. Customer, you're a member, right? Now I can thank you the way you deserve to be thanked. With two pony points. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Now I can welcome our customers with peace of mind. Thank you so much. Receive reward. Ah, oh, yes. I'll be right with you. You'd like to get your pony point reward, right? For five points, you get the horse god fabric. A fabric bearing a design of the horse god, Melania. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. I hear the dye shop in Hateno village has a new service using fabric. If you ever find yourself in Nekluda, you ought to stop by. I'm sure they can help put this fabric to use. If you save up just two more points, you will be able to use the Melania bed, which is said to bring prophecies from the horse god Melania. We appreciate your patronage. Okay, do. Continue on. Now what we've got up here. Armor hat. This tough medicinal plant cannot be broken, but it can be cooked. Its durable yet flexible fibers raise your dependence when cooked into a dish. Oh shit, I need that so bad. Can we get more? Like, until I can find the armor. The game's just gonna suck. Because you won't be able to fight anything. Everything's just gonna one-shot me. Unless I can just max out my hearts very, very quickly, which I won't be able to do. we got here some guy <laughs> must hurry huh oh link i had heard that you and princess zelda had gone missing i'm thrilled to see you alive and well but where's princess zelda what so princess zelda is still missing well then link you may want to meet with lady impa she is investigating the geoglyphs that have appeared across the land a curious name for this strange phenomenon. Lady Impa believes they're crucial to the search for Princess Ooh. Zelda. She's traveling in one of those new balloon contraptions and should be at New Seren Stable right now. I'm in a hurry to meet with Lady Impa, but I can't go anywhere nearly as fast as she can in her balloon. Let's see. New Seren Stable is just a little to the northwest of, the cent of Central Hyrule. If you excuse me, I need to be on my way. Wait, hold on. The sign. Left, Kakariko Village. So we want to go to the left. But first I want to go up there. Get another heart. Hello, it's a guy with a wagon. Yeah. 
Hello there, sir. Say, you look like you've been to a lot of different places. But have you ever traveled to the Garuda region in southwest Hyrule? The desert is a merciless place. The days are scorching hot and the nights are wretchedly cold. But here's a trick to make it bearable. Choo-choo jelly. Even the name is charming. When it's hot, break it open and soak in water. When it's cold, the jelly is as good as cold. What a miraculous substance. There's no excuse not to carry it. And if a merchant happened to have it on hand, well... I'll buy. Fireproof lizard. Nah, I don't want to buy any of this. Keep Nembis's fine goods in mind for all your mercantile needs. Whoa! Who the fuck are you guys? Them just flowers? I was assuming there was gonna be something. Oh, hello there. That looks very angry and evil. Let's avoid that. If at all possible. They seem to... ...have me in their sights. How is this gonna work out? They're just kind of over there, I guess. I don't want to fuck with that. Shrine.
Mm, whatever. Bouncy device. Boink. Whoa. We did it. I might need to move it, I guess. This one was a lot easier. What the fuck? Okay. Why does everything do so much damage in the beginning in this game? Speed running now. Yeah. 
Hey, it's not beefy enough. Let's beef it up. This game does make me want to play some kind of physics game, but there aren't really many. Like, I don't even know where to go to play some kind of physics game. I have to play Kerbal or something. I'm so confused. Are you telling me it's still not enough? Why is it so hard to center it? It's just not centering. Center it, asshole. This is worse than building in Malheim. Yo, what the fuck is that, dude? Fuck you! There we go. Now what? There, we have two more here and there but I don't see how I'm gonna be able to reach those and get those over here do we want to go up to there maybe we don't even want to bounce up here that simple yeah. seems to be that simple pressure chest Sneaky elixir. We have... No, we have seven. We need one more. It's got an explosive there, so... That's a miss. 
I mean, I can't judge how far away it is. Decayed wooden boomerang, a useful tool that comes back after you throw it. Its current state has not lessened its performance. The boomerang is a melee weapon? Yeah, you're supposed to just throw it. have an axe. The tree might be troublesome. What do I do with the tree then? I don't even know how to make an axe. Not like that. Well, okay, what we can do is... Burn it. Lizard. Lizard. Herokuda Eyeball. This eyeball is constantly trying to focus on its targets. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir or attach it to an arrow to grant a homing quality to the arrow. Herokuda Wing. A large, wide Herokuda Wing. Arrows and thrown weapons fly farther, farther with this item attached. Even with a slight wind. Bike the Boko Shield. Fruit. Fruit from palm trees that grow near the ocean. It doesn't offer any special effects, but it will increase your heart recovery when used as an ingredient. Okay. Ammo. Potions are pretty nice, though. To be honest. Is there a frog here? Oh, there was a frog under the... The rock. I lifted up. Come on. I still don't want to get rid of anything. Not even for a boomerang. So that, that over there should be our next destination, I would say. We can teleport back here. 
And like this, this soundtrack is so trash. Might have to leave my horse. I'm just gonna start mountain climbing. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, I really do like open world games as well. I don't have the same like open world fatigue that a lot of people seem to have, but a lot of people, I feel like they have the same kind of mentality about it as they do uh, like turn-based games. It's not that turn-based games are actually bad or anything. It's just that they think they're bad, because they've never played a good one, because there are no good ones. And that, that, that only means that they're bad if you think within the box. But if you think outside of the box, then it's entirely possible What do we have here then? I don't know, but he died. Well, not quite, but almost. Ow! Got some AOE going on there. Hell yeah. Fuck you. Blue Horriblin Horn. A hammer-shaped horn with spiky bumps. Attach it to a weapon to moderately increase its attack power. Traveler's Claymore. Horriblin Horn. An elongated hammer-shaped horn with a hard flat front. Long stick. I don't really care about long sticks. Long stick feels like a waste, right? Like, you want to have, you want to have a strong handle and then you can put some, a, a strong thing on it. But if you don't have a strong handle, then it's kind of a waste. Shield of the Mind's Eye. A small Sheikah made shield. Its design is intended to increase blind spots without sacrificing too much or decrease blind spots without sacrificing too much defense. <laughs> and it just makes me want to play Elder Scrolls. Mm-hmm. Okay. But... Let's drop that and go pick up a stick. Uh, 
I wonder how far you can ascend through the roof. Can, like, can you just go straight through the whole dungeon up to the top? What's the limit? Oh, I was hoping for a spin. Fruits. Hell yeah. Blue Nightshade, a plant that grows in quieter areas of Hyrule. At night it gives off a soft glow. Cook with it to increase your stealth. Okay, so you can still do the like average um, or, or the lock on aiming so you, you don't have to manually aim all the time necessarily sticky frog this frog likes to cling to walls and hang out it oozes a substance that climbers can use to cling to wet surfaces I think I'm one of the things that bothered me the most in Breath of the Wild was that every single time you had wanted to do literally anything, you had to switch gear. And I think I'd rather just make sure that we have. Potions for it instead. Yeah. Did you come here to see the Skyview Tower? My apologies, it looks like we have a small problem over here. What's going on? I heard that the terminal at this Skyview Tower needed repairs, so I came to fix it, but... The door won't open. I have no clue why. The door isn't locked, but it won't budge, no matter how hard I push or pull. Ah, of course, I know it's a sliding door. That's what I meant, obviously. Ugh, I worked up an appetite, getting my brain into gear for this. I bet the nearby caves would have some tasty mushrooms. Caves? Yep. There are caves at the bottom of the hill. I used to go mushroom hunting in them all the time while we were building the tower. What does that have to freaking do with anything? My apologies, the door won't open for some reason. I know, but I didn't... What? Why is she talking about mushrooms? Are there mushrooms here that I didn't pick up? Sure, I saw all the mushrooms. What have you got there? Traveler's shield. Lots of claymores in here. Can you miss them? Okay, 
<laughs> Claymore's in the roof as well. Don't see any tasty mushrooms. Are you saying that there are even more caves here? Well, there's a big guy there. We can fight him, but well, I want to save him first. So shit. Come on. I'm stuck! He started climbing on a wall, I couldn't move. God damn, the gameplay in this game is so fucking garbage. So, do I have to shoot him in the legs and the arms? Ow! Come on. Get hit in the freaking nose. And now what we want to do is we want to hit that thing there with a bomb. That was a total miss. Take that time to teleport up. Come on! Go up and smack it. Until he smacks you off. Okay, so now we can make another hammer. Out of what? Out 
after the soldier blade, maybe. This seemed really strong, so... Fuse has already been used on this. Yeah, but aren't you supposed to unfuse? Destroy fused material. There. 27 damage. This was not at all what we wanted. I'm looking for... Caves? He wants mushrooms? I don't know what she's talking about. There was there were, there were no mushrooms here. I don't really see anything that might look like a cave here. Does she need me to cook the mushrooms for her? Are they sleeping? sleeping Pokeball, shitty bow. Oh, he didn't die? Oh, he's dead. Hylian Shroom. What else do you want from me? Do I just need, like, a mushroom? We had mushrooms. I'm so confused. Sturdy stick is nice.
It's just a normal bird. Yeah, I know, but... <sighs> At the bottom of the hill. Bitch. It's a giant. Am I gonna regret fighting this guy? I think so. Oh, we can just save and just not get hit. It's easy. The exact same monsters as in the previous game. Seventy fucking dollars, dude. And it's just as shit in the, as in the last game as well. What 
puts that on your head? There's nothing, okay. Soldier's Bow, a bow designed for armed conflict. Inflicts more damage than a civilian bow, but it will still burn if it touches fire. Fortified Pumpkin, an extremely tough pumpkin raised for food. When cooked, that toughness manifests itself by considerably upping defense. Hinox Toenail, as tough as plate armor. This item increases an arrow's attack power when attached to it. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Mighty Bananas. This fruit grows mainly in tropical forests of the barren region. When it's used as an ingredient, the resulting dish will temporarily increase your attack power. Inox Horn. A horn wrapped in spiked wood. Attach it to a weapon to increase attack power or cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Now what is this? Traveler's Spear. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, these are a bunch of Hylian shrooms. That doesn't help us, because she doesn't care. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do, dude. I wonder if there's gonna be like three monsters in the entire game here too. That, that's how Breath of the Wild is. When you play Breath of the Wild and you fight the first uh, big whatever that guy was called, you're like, wow, this is pretty cool. And then you fight the, the golem and you're like, wow, this is pretty cool. And then those are the only like two monsters in the entire game. Now see, people will whine about uh, reused assets and stuff. It's actually not something that I mind. I think reusing assets is smart. You should reuse assets, especially if you're making a game like this. But if you, if you only reuse assets, and then you sell the game for $70, and you haven't actually added anything new except, like, changed it up a little bit, then fuck you, right? But otherwise, reusing assets is a good thing. Because that just means that you can keep the things that you had and add more things, right? But that's not what they're doing. <laughs> like, they literally just put a platform on the golem and that's it. It's literally the same otherwise. It's no difference. <sighs> Alright. 
right, let's go even further down. Where's uh, where, where's the cave? There's no cave here. There's the one cave that we that we came from. That's it. So, do I have to roast the mushrooms? Do I have to? Like, what, what, what does she want? Iron shroom. The cap of this mushroom is very hard. Use it when cooking to prepare a dish that increases your defense. That happens when you're out during a thunderstorm. You're wearing metal gear. What the hell is that? Oh, right. It's one of those wizard boys. A oh, wizard man. You wanna fucking fight? I'll kill you. Okay, maybe not fight him with a torch. Now we get a wand. I fucked up the torch, so we might as well drop it. Hope as a rod. Okay. Now what? Still don't know where there's there are any mushrooms. Not a cave. Dude, I'm gonna Google this. This is fucking garbage. Like what what the fuck does the does she want? This is retarded. We, we can go up there and try to cook them, I guess. But otherwise, like, this doesn't work. There's just... Th this isn't functional. What the fuck do you want from me? Look who we got over there.
Let him go. He's standing. How's the president standing? Oh, blah, 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 blah. He says the same thing every single time. Sneaky mushroom. Ah. One bomb flower. Thank you. This isn't a cave either. That's that's a valley. This game sucks. All right, I'm googling this. Build some mushrooms. This prompt is super misleading. Yeah. Okay, so it is in there. I have missed a path. Even though I felt like I smashed all the rocks that could possibly hide direction to go. Here? Holy shit, dude. You've got tasty mushrooms here, or what? Are no mushrooms here either? Okay.
One rupee. No mushrooms. Am I... Am I just retarded? I don't know what's going on. Get inside that room and use ascend. Of course. Holy shit, this game is so trash. Of course we just ascend here. So it had nothing to do with finding mushrooms, and also we didn't find any mushrooms. <laughs> what? The door opened! Could it be? Did you fix it for me? I would never have solved that, I promise. Eh, I can't believe a couple of sticks caused all this hassle. I wonder if those were in there to begin with, or just fell over somehow, or if some monster did that on purpose. Either way, that really helped. Thank you. Well. The mechanisms aren't working quite right. I'll just give them a bit of oil. Ta-da! It wasn't a big problem, so a little oil cleared it right up. Right, I'm going to hurry on ahead, so this is goodbye. Bye-bye. Surface map updated. Sky map update. Bird monster! Hey, what's going on there? Star fragment! A mysterious stone fragment that fell from the sky. Its gem-like quality makes it highly valuable. 
One theory is that it has the power to light up its environment. Okay. Too bad it's raining, so we, we can't... Anywhere here we can stand? Like, yes. Actually. If I'm gonna get... Uh, if I'm gonna climb up here, we're gonna have to wait for the uh, rain to stop. It's on a whole hour. So can I make like a permanent torch with that, maybe? Put a... Put that on a stick, and then we've got a torch. Ah, it's gonna be another hour, dude. I can just go to the bathroom while we're sitting here. E Did the rain stop? So it stopped. It might be time to end the stream soon-ish, but we'll see. Depends on when Kibbs arrives. He arrives. That's also the question.
I don't remember how you upgraded your stamina. But I remember feeling like you never had enough stamina in Breath of the Wild. Pacarico Village. Oh, I was not expecting that to pop up uh, here. That was the most obvious Korok ever. But otherwise, it doesn't seem to be much else here. send you. I'm Saguru. Nice to meet you. I specialize in studying the Sky Islands. I mean, look at all of these fascinating ruins just dropping out of the sky. Great stuff, right? Huh? Wait, you're not with the survey team. This is an official Ring Ruins research site. It's dangerous here for civilians. <laughs> but if you're the sort of guy who comes all the way out here for curiosity's sake, you must be a researcher at heart. Since you're here, I'm happy to answer questions, uh, as long as they're about the Sky Islands. What are Sky, Isl oh. Sky Islands? You know when you start daydreaming and stare off into the sky, and then you go, whoa, a floating ruin. That's a Sky oh. Island. Remnants of the Zonai civilization, like these ring ruins, have fallen all over. Turns out they come from the Sky Islands. Which means, <laughs> the whole Zonai legacy is up there. The islands are untouched, so everything must be well preserved. I'm not boring you, am I? Because I can go on about the Sky Islands forever. Go ahead, ask me anything. Anything live up there? We're not sure what lives up there, but we've found new species of plants around the fallen ruins. And if these are pl and if there are plants, I'm sure other things live up there too. If you're interested in that sort of thing. Oh. Try talking to Cory. She's our resident plant expert. Right now, she's trying to cultivate plants that were attached to the ruins. If that interests you, you should definitely ask her about it. I'm not boring you, am I? Because I can go on about the Sky Islands forever. What makes you curious? Hmm, I want to know more about armor made with Zonai tech. Clothing and culture are tied together, and there's so much we don't know about either of them. So many mysteries. Anyway, the bigger the Sky Island, the bigger the settlements. We think some sort of cultural relic must be up there. But since we can't get up there, it's all conjecture. I'll have to content myself studying the ring ruins. We don't have a way to get to the Sky Islands. At least not yet. I'd love to go someday. I bet the folks in Tarrytown could improve the balloon. I wish I had a reason to head northeast. Wake up! Oh, please, wake up! Saguru is not far off, and if he finds out someone's been sleeping on one of the stone slabs, a priceless artifact, I'll be the one who gets it. Stone slab? Ah, oh, yes. Stone slabs are, well, slabs, like the one this guy's sleeping on. The survey team discovered stone slabs in each of the ring ruin sites here. They found this one in the ruin above us. Our leader is able to read Zonai writings and says the text on this slab is a record of a historic fight. One that was between a great king of that era and the Demon King. The ruler did not or could not defeat the Demon King and instead imprisoned that mighty foe. The text also says that the sages who fought beside this ruler left something behind in case the Demon King returned. Aww. It worries me to know this discovery talks about a Demon King's return, and here the upheaval has just happened. If only we knew what those sages did prepare in case he came back. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to think and fret at the same time there. 
You can read the decipher writing for yourself. It's all right next to the slab. I've got to do something about this guy soon, though. Saguru is in the ruin above, and he'll come back here eventually. Oh, hearty truffle, you're the only fungus for me. A stone slab at the large ring ruin. Some translation notes. The demon king, vast power, no hope, victory. King's own life managed to imprison him. Imprison not indefinitely. Prepare demon revival. We sages must leave our knowledge, future generations. Reading between the lines, this stone slab seems to be a record of how the king in those days challenged the demon king. If I had to extrapolate the meaning, I'd guess it's something like this. The reigning king determined that they were no match for the demon king and gave his own life to imprison the threat. The sages tried to leave something for the people of the future who would have to prepare for the demon king's revival. Well, that doesn't help at all. Large Ring Ruin Research Journal there are five ruins around the village, but I, what I call the large ring ruin is clearly the most impressive in scale. Though parts of it have collapsed, it is the only ruin to retain its circular shape. As with the other ruins, a stone slab inscribed with the Zonai script was found in the rubble. We have stored the slab in a tent at the nearby camp. I don't have any hearty truffle mate. Let me, uh, let me, let me make a, a mark here. Stamp. Wish I could name it. Edit stamp. No. Oh, my arrow! One arrow. It's almost not worth wasting the durability on the weapons. Four. Hey, you there! Come here! Haven't you heard? It's strictly forbidden to get near that ring ruin by Princess Zelda's orders. So you'd better be on your way. Princess Zelda's orders? You heard me. Princess Zelda came out to the Kakari came out to Kakarika village the other day and told everyone to steer clear of that ring ruin. She left in a hurry, so I didn't quite catch the why of it all. As you've surely noticed, these ruins could come crumbling down at any time. So folks need to keep away so they don't get injured. I'm sure that's where her concerns were coming from. Under Princess Zelda's orders, everyone is strictly forbidden from getting close to that ring. If that applies to an archaeologist like me, it certainly applies to an amateur like you. I'm not an amateur, fuck you. Yeah. The ring ruins are the most intriguing ruins I've researched, especially this one. The way part of it flo the way part of it floats up there. You had the foresight to focus on on all of these special ruins and invite the survey team to take a look right away. Uh. I'm impressed, Chief Pyle. Oh no, I I'm no chief. I just couldn't refuse my predecessor when she decided to pass the title to me rather suddenly. I'm really a chief in name only, since I still have a great deal to hmm? Uh. Oh, is that you, Master Link? I'm so happy that I get to see you again. Oh, is it meeting time? I'm overjoyed that both you and Princess Zelda are safe, Master Lick. Alright, I'll be back in uh, some time. 
What? Princess Zelda is still missing. That just confuses the matter more. You see, I actually met with the princess not too long ago. It was immediately after the upheaval. Princess Zelda came here to Kakariko village. She ordered us all to stay away from the ring ruin that floats above us, no matter what. I saw her myself, the princess, right before my eyes. She left as soon as she arrived. I wasn't able to ask her anything more about those unusual instructions. We thought it was to protect the villagers from harm. This ruin does look like it could crash down at any moment. That's what Paya and I suspect at least. But still, I know you would not misspeak, Master Link, especially on a matter of such importance. How confusing. Oh, my apologies, Master Link. I was so pleased to see you, I completely forgot common courtesy. Please allow me to introduce Mr. T Mr. Toro, an esteemed member of the Zonai survey team. I invited him here to investigate the ring ruins that fell on our village. He has incredibly deep knowledge of the Zonai civilization. He's even familiar with Zonai's script. He is truly an incredibly talented individual. It's a haircut, though. It's clear that the floating ring ruin that we were forbidden to explore is a unique and incredibly valuable find. Several more ring ruins with such a shape have fallen down around the village. Most have broken apart in some way. What's fascinating is that a stone slab with writing was found at each site. Deciphering the text showed that each slab contains rather interesting content, including mentions of sages. There's still so much we don't understand. Aww. I think that perhaps the ruin floating in the air also has a slab that makes mention of the sages. I can't investigate, as that would go against Princess Zelda's direct orders. If only I could meet with her again, I'm sure I could persuade her to change her mind. In any case, I'm having trouble squaring your story about Princess Zelda with the Princess Zelda we met. If everything is alright, why won't she just show herself? She must have some reason. Until we find out Princess Zelda's true intentions, we have no choice but to trust her and leave that ruin alone. Alright. We'll save there, and I'll be back later. Not sure when, I should probably eat something too, but... We shall see. Until then, bye-bye.